So a subscriber sent in an Xbox One original. Uh, the problem he was having was his Xbox would not read games. So he ended up buying a disk drive and he swapped his original daughter board into this new disk drive and it didn't want to read. So um, I'm not sure if it's a problem with his actual daughter board, uh, but what we decided we were going to do is, is I'm going to take uh, the chip that has the key that's married to the motherboard and I'm going to move it over to this board um, and then hopefully it should work. Um, I think the problem is, is the laser might be slightly different and the one board might be slightly different. I'm not entirely certain. Uh, but we will just go ahead and swap the chip over and then hopefully that'll fix the problem. The boards look identical. I mean, I can't actually see a difference here. But one board acts like, in fact, the one that it came with the disk drive acts like it's going to read the game. But doesn't because obviously it's not married to the board. Uh, this one doesn't even really attempt to spin up the disc. So I don't know if it's a problem with his original board or not. I, I'm assuming that that's probably what it is. Uh, so that's going to be the main reason I'm going to swap the chip over. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so here are our two boards. Um, this is the one, the lighter green one is the board that we are going to. This is his original board. So we're going to take this chip and we're going to move it over here and we're going to get that, rid of that one. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to put some capped on tape over this connector and over this one because obviously I don't want to ruin any connectors uh, as much as long as we don't have to. And then I'm going to take um, this chip and move it over and then hopefully it will be all good. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and remove this chip first since we don't really care about this chip nearly as much as this one. This is the one that we really need. So let's go ahead and remove this chip right now. All right. So now, turn it on. All right, it's on. So we got our we got our one board here. I'm gonna grab some cap on, capped on tape, and we'll go ahead and put it over these connectors. All right. This is the only connectors that we're gonna need it on. We'll just have to just put it in the general area so that it will be okay. All right, so this is the chip that we are after. I'm going to turn this like that so we can get a better view here. All right. That is too close. That'll be fine. It'll be all right. All right. Trying to get this whole chip in view on the actual camera. All right. Fume extractor on. Hot air station, we're going to be using a square nozzle, and this nozzle is just kind of press fit on there, it'll be fine. Um, it's a square nozzle, we're going to use probably 480 degrees, and the max uh, air along with this chip removal. We're going to put, start by putting in this in the center of the frame. We're going to start by putting flux around the chip. There we go. And when we put flux around the chip, it really just helps it uh, come off of the board easier. All right, this should be good enough. Yeah, we're gonna use this pair. So we just basically need to get the chip hot enough where the solder is liquefied and wait for it. That is good to go. All right, so we got rid of our old chip. And 480 is a lot for this board, but we are going to try to remove this chip as fast as possible. All right, next chip. Just put some flux around the chip. Now, if someone asks, this flux is uh, Amtec 559 version two. I'm gonna get rid of our old chips so we don't need we don't need that anymore. Oh we're gonna put almost forgot, we're gonna put capped on tape down over that connector. Because I, I still wanna save it just in case, even though it's a board that we're never gonna use. I just wanna save it just in case because you never ever know. Alright. So let's take this chip off. 
Now, of course, like we're looking for, we're looking for the solder to become liquid. And 480 is a very, very high temperature to use for a board this thin. However, we're trying to do this quick. And there's our chip. So there it is. We got it. Got our chip off. And naturally, if you're going to use that high of heat, I, I'm telling you, do not use it for a long time because you will 100% kill this board and warp it and all sorts of craziness. So don't use 480 if you are not confident. Um, use a lot lower of a temperature. Since I've been doing this for a while, I usually just try to be very quick at it. We use a hot heat and we're not warping anything as long as we're good to go. So I'm going to use my conical angled tip on my iron and I'm going to take some solder. I'm going to flow it around all of these pads here. I'm going to just gently flow it around here. All right. A little bit of solder here to this pad here in the middle. I put way too much, uh, but the iron happened to have too much on it. All right, let's get rid of some of that. There we go. We just need a little bit, and then just mix it up. Makes it real nice, you know? All right. Grab some alcohol. We'll go ahead and clean up this area here. And we'll apply some new flux, and then we will install our chip. Let's see here. A little bit more alcohol, yeah? All right. All right. All right, now let's check here. All right, we should be good to go. Let's put a little bit of flux down. And I am almost out of flux, guys. I'm gonna buy some more. All right, and I just kind of move it around a little bit, make us a nice surface to solder to. Take a look at our chip real quick. All right, this is the one we're using. Looks good to go. All right, so let's get it within the distance. I'm gonna take the hot air station, I'm gonna heat up. I'm gonna heat up the part of the board where we're going to be soldering to. And I'm gonna watch it go liquid. I'm gonna put our chip down right after that. All right, almost there, there it is. Put the chip in the general area which I totally messed up at, but that's okay. We're going to just move it into position. All right. And... That's it right there. We're good. That chip is in position. Or at least it looks like it. Maybe it's not. Let's check. Nope, it is not in position. we got to move it back. All right, let's move it. That's it. Right there. Chip is good. All right. Now, wait for the board to cool off real quick, and then we'll run over all of these joints. All right. Grab um, the conical angled tip iron. Flow these joints here. Wow, they look amazing. Done. Done. These capacitors I accidentally joined together. I am going to separate them in a second. Done. And um, we separated those capacitors. And our chip looks great. Let's go ahead and zoom in on these joints here. Just take a look. All right. Those look fantastic. Those all look great. Those all look amazing. 
those all look awesome. All right, we're good. All right, let's clean up this board here. And it should be good to go. And we're gonna use some isopurple alcohol. We'll put our chip on the new board and hopefully this fixes our problem and it reads games. That would be amazing. Then we wouldn't have to deal with this ever again after this. Unless the laser dies again. That would really sink. All right. All right, final cleanup. Let's take a look at our um, chip one last time after cleanup. Look up the joints. They all look really good. They look really good. Look great. They all look great. Chip is centered and is 100%. All right. So let's go ahead and put it in the console and see if it works. All right, let's go ahead and try it. All right, it's turning on. Fan spin. Do we have fan spin? Fan spin on Xbox. Cool. That's good. All right. Let's go ahead and go over to our screen. That's good. It means the HDMI port is solid, which I assumed it already was. Um, let's grab our game here and the controller. Plug in the controller. Put in our game. Our game is Madden. Oh, sorry, Madden 16. It went in fine. Cool. Game is booting up. And it sounds normal too. That sounds awesome. All right. Hopefully, hopefully it does something and works. I gotta wait for it to boot up here. Almost there, almost there. All right. Wait, there it is. Ha <laughs> it's working. It's working, where is it? Here it is. Madden 16. It's reading the game. It's reading the game. Ha <laughs> it's reading the game. Yes, that's awesome. Awesome. Cool, so our chip swap worked. That's awesome. Praise the Lord for that. That is something to be uh, praising the Lord about. All right, so that concludes it for this video. I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching. If you guys could hit that subscribe button, hit the like button down below as well. It shows me I'm doing a good job and that you guys like my videos. Also, my dad mentioned something to me that I wanted to say at the end of this video, and it's this. There's an old saying that goes, it's better to pay a tech than to make it a wreck. And I don't know if it's very well known, it probably is. But my dad's always said it to me, and I've realized it um, over the years. Now, it's, it's very good to be able to work on your own stuff, and if it works, that's great. Um, but sometimes it, it's, it is better to just pay a technician to do the job, or someone that's experienced in doing it. I can actually tell a, a testimony of my own self um, I had went to a, this was about, uh, about five years ago. I, I didn't really work on cell phones a whole lot back then, just game consoles. And I didn't do a whole lot of micro soldering back then either. Um, but I had picked up a, an iPhone six that needed a battery and I'm not kidding. I actually took it somewhere to put a battery in it because I wasn't confident myself to actually change the battery. <laughs> but that's actually a true story about, f about five years ago now. 
Um, but um, obviously now it's a slightly different story. <laughs> but I did actually pay a technician to do it. I, I did. Um, and I'm a technician myself. So there are some times where it is better to just pay a technician to do the job and, you know, just to have somebody else, you know, do it for you. So anyways, I'll leave you guys with that. I hope you guys have an awesome day and see you guys in the next video. Take care.